My brothers and my sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give God some glory, give God some praise as we kick off this concert on tonight with our brother, Robert Taylor. that showed up. Uh, some of you know me. Some of you have never heard me play acoustic. Some of you have heard me in a band called Three Days in the Grave. So I decided that it was time to pull the acoustic out again and see what transpires. This first song, I was working in a surf shop, and I ended up writing the words and the music all at the same time, which if any of you write songs, you know that that's, that doesn't usually happen too much. So the song is called I Will Follow. Anyway, um, 
if you've been a Christian for any length of time, you go through periods of growth, you go through periods of dryness, but during all of those periods, God is our strength. And this song is called, He is our strength. The Lord goes before us. He has made the way. He has broken the chains that bind us. He has given us a new day.
strong and not weak, like the sound of mighty waters flowing, 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 like the sound of mighty waters flowing, flowing, flowing. like that, God does give us the desires of our heart. Because what we do is, is we allow God to be the center of our lives. And when we make Him the center of our lives, His desires become our desires. And then He ends up giving us the desires of our heart. This song's called Yours for the Asking.
shall dance and sing. Oh, in the presence of the King, and we shall dance and sing. Oh, in the presence of the King. Come, be born strong, worship at His feet. Lay down your life, and He will live. Maybe for what you were searching at at a young age. 
Here's the thing that I found out is when we try to open our own doors, God closes. Yes, sir. That's right. And when we give our lives to Jesus as a sacrifice, he'll, he'll open up the door. But it's all about his time, not our time. And God is never late. There are times when he might come early, but God is never late. Yeah, yeah. He knows when it's time to open up a door for us. If we go charging in through doors and kicking them down, we end up getting hurt and we end up hurting others. Amen. 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 Now, just with that question, with that, with that declaration, powerful words from a mighty man of God, so how would you encourage someone uh, that may have had doors closed? And some of them are chasing, uh, trying to get their music out and trying to you know, reach that level that they're trying to attain to. And you talk about closed doors. How would you say, how do you handle or deal with the closed doors? Well, here's the thing is that when one door does close, God does open another one. That, because yeah. that's the one we're supposed to walk through. Yes. Yes. And like I said, God is never late. Yes. He may be early sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I have friends of mine who have struggled through trying to get famous and then they ended up, you know, backsliding and stuff yeah. because of the disappointment. But if we realize that sometimes disappointments in our life are God's appointments. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Because when we allow God to be the center of everything, He will open up the doors for us. We won't have to struggle, Amen. except on our knees, yes, which is yes. where the struggle is supposed to take place That's anyway. Yeah, yeah. And when you look at, you know, we were just talking about Gideon a couple of weeks ago here at the church. Amen. And, you know, he started out with this big group of people and ended up with 300 men, yeah. but he was glorious. Yeah, glorious yeah, yeah, yeah. because he allowed God to move through him. Yeah, yeah. And you know, at first, man looks at the situation around him and thinks, well, you know, I'm never going to be anything yeah. because this is taking too long. Yeah, yeah. But during that time, God is building our character. And you know, sometimes when we're young Christians, we're, in, we're too immature to be able to handle certain things. So true, so true. And so God takes us through these periods where he'll be holding our hand, even though we sometimes don't feel like he is. And there's that, you know, footsteps where we see two sets of footprints. And the, uh, during the hardest times, there was only one. That's when God was carrying us. Amen, amen, amen. So surrender your gift to Jesus. Amen. It. Allow him to be the center of your music, yeah. and God will open up the doors. Ooh, that's glorious. That's a blessing, Robert. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give God the glory. Give God the praise for Brother Robert on tonight. We thank God for you, and I, I thank God. Amen. I saw your story as I shared your bio earlier, and, you know, you get saved in 1979. I was born in 1979, so that wow. tells me oh. you've been rocking for a mighty while. Because, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still a little youngster, but I'm getting old now. But that's not old. That's legacy. That's favor. That's God's continued glory on your life. And I thank God for you. And I thank God for you being an example to men like myself, to men out there watching, men out there listening to this wonderful testimony. And I just give God the glory. Keep on rocking. Yes, sir. You know, um, I told my dad I wanted to be a minister and kicked him out of the house. Ah, I but, and I, went in, and I ended up going into the military. I was in the Army for 12 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the interesting thing in there is I realized how much I wasn't walking with the Lord. Yeah, come on. It was easy to walk with Jesus yeah. when I had when I was going to church and hanging out at all the Bible studies. Yeah. But when I was by myself and I wasn't trusting God, that's when I ended up doing a backslide for about six months. But during that whole time of backsliding, I was still hungry for God. I just, you know. I tried to do everything on my own strength during yeah, that time. Yeah. And everything that I did on my own strength failed. Oh my God. Oh my God. But the music, I mean, it's like those were, like music has these beats. And you know, as you were playing acoustically, as you were playing acoustically, and as we're getting ready to hear a band that's coming shortly, you got all the different pieces and rhythms of the beat. It's so funny. I, I just want you to just share, man, of those pieces of the past hurts, the past pains. 
that have come together to make the music that's your story. You can kind of share on that. But that's awesome when you hear Sharon sharing that. You know what? It's so funny is when I I've written more songs during the time when I was going through something than yes. when, when life was kind of just you know even. Yeah, yeah. It's the waves of our lives that push us to our knees. Amen. It's the waves of our lives that push us to Jesus. Yes, yes. Either that or we backslide. We backslide. We probably weren't as strong as we thought we were at the time. But thank, you know what? Thank God that He forgives. Yes. That He, like the prodigal son who goes away from his his father, he goes out and spends all of his money and stuff on on on, on hookers and things like that. But when everything came back, his father took him back. And I was able to go back to my father. My father ended up getting saved through some major situations. But you know what? I know where he's at right now. Walking with Jesus in the streets of gold. Amen. Woo, glory to God. And you sung about that song. And we give God the glory. Come on, I want you to give God the glory. Give God the praise for Brother Robert Tyler. Come on, give God. Listen, he is straight out of Lomita, California. Find him on Facebook. Begin following this brother. Begin following the wonderful music that God is bringing forth by way of him. Thank you so much for blessing us on today, brother. Brother Anthony, thank you for being here. Yes, sir. Being used by God.